Hi there, this is an advanced English lesson about the news. This week's lesson, we're going to look at this guy here, Jair Bolsonaro, a politician from Brazil. Let's see what happened to him and let's learn some new English as we do so. So, today we're going to look at an extremely worrisome situation that is unfolding in Brazil. Last week, one of the candidates for the presidential election, Jair Bolsonaro, was stabbed in the street. Bolsonaro is a former captain in the Brazilian army and, to judge from his pronouncements, he yearns for the days in which the military held the whip hand in Brazil. Bolsonaro has made many enemies with a series of hugely controversial right-wing and socially illiberal comments. And yet, he has also attracted many fervent supporters who defend him zealously against his legion of detractors. So let's look at the vocabulary on this first page. Worrisome just means the same thing as worrying, something that you worry about a lot. If a situation is unfolding somewhere, it means this is what's happening. It's unfolding, it's happening. Pronouncements. Somebody's pronouncements are the things that they say. But often we use this word pronouncements uh, to describe the things that people say when the people saying them uh, show a lot of conviction about what they are saying. They say these things with a lot of certainty as if they must be right. If you yearn for something, Bolsonaro yearns for the days, that means that you really want that thing to happen again. Something from the past, you want it to happen again. You could also yearn for something in the future. It means to really want something to happen. The military held the whip hand in Brazil. The whip hand, crack is when you are in charge, when you rule, as the military used to rule in Brazil. Socially illiberal. So, illiberal is the opposite of liberal. And when we say socially illiberal comments, we mean things like comments that are very much against things like same-sex marriage, very rude comments about homosexuals and things like that. Fervent supporters. A fervent supporter has a lot of fervour, which is a noun. <clears throat> they are very enthusiastic about their candidate. If you defend somebody zealously, then you do it with a lot of force, with a lot of determination. You defend them in a really strong way. A legion of detractors. Your detractors are those people who say critical things about you. If there are a legion of detractors, that simply means there are loads of them. So, polling shows that Bolsonaro would be in the lead in the presidential race should the former Brazilian president, Lula Inácio da Silva, be excluded from running on the grounds of previous convictions relating to corruption. Indeed, Corruption lies at the heart of Bolsonaro's appeal as he, as he is projecting himself as the anti-corruption candidate. All this has shades of Donald Trump's campaign pledge to drain the swamp in the US elections. The other key plank of Bolsonaro's appeal is a pledge to get tough on crime. According to the UN, there are more total murders in Brazil than in any other country in the world, and many Brazilians are fed up with the violence that is endemic in parts of Brazil, such as in Rio de Janeiro. So, on the grounds of previous convictions means because of previous convictions. If something has shades of something else, it reminds you of that thing. To use another advanced English word, it is reminiscent of that thing. So Bolsonaro's anti-corruption campaign has shades of Donald Trump's pledge 
to drain the swamp in the US elections. A pledge is a promise, especially when made by a politician in the course of an electoral campaign. A key plank. This is an important collocation in English, which means a very important part of something is a key plank. Fed up, a phrasal verb, very important. If you are fed up with something, you have had enough of it. You are sick of it. You want this thing to end or stop. Endemic, if something is endemic, then it is very widespread. Very widespread. So in this case, the violence is very widespread. So, for Bolsonaro's disciples, he offers a vision of a Brazil in which corruption is eliminated and violence greatly reduced. However, the means by which Bolsonaro may aim to bring these changes about are unclear and potentially chilling. This, after all, is a man who has heaped praise on the former dictator of Chile, General Augusto Pinochet, and who, in a TV interview in the 1990s, bragged that if he were to become president, he would order a military coup on the very first day. If you eliminate something, then you get rid of it. You remove it. So if corruption is eliminated, there's no more corruption. To bring changes about simply means to make changes happen. If something is potentially chilling, then that means it's potentially really scary. It's a really bad thing. To heap praise is a collocation. In English, a verb-noun collocation, which means to give somebody a lot of praise. But we use this as a collocation to heap praise. A military coup, another collocation, when the military takes over control of a country such that democracy ends. Also here, we should look at the meaning of the, word, of the verb to brag. If you brag, it means the same thing as to boast. It's to make a statement in which you try to make yourself look great, in which you try to impress others. So, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, then please subscribe to the channel for more lessons like this. Please like the video, please share the video. And finally, please comment on the video. What do you think? Do you believe that a military government is a good solution to dealing with crime in society? If you're a Brazilian viewer, would you be worried about the future if you're of your country if Bolsonaro gets into power? Leave comments below and let me know. Thank you. And see you next time.